hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i made this simple short kimono jacket with drawstring so i'm wearing this kimono jacket in three different ways as you can see so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so i'll be making use of one and a half yards of ankara fabric before we go ahead to cut out on our fabric i'll first of all draft it out on my pattern paper for more clarity so for this tutorial you'll be needing your shoulder to shoulder measurement your shoulder to sleeve measurement your shoulder to your hip line which is for your vertical measurement then your round hip measurement so without wasting much time let's draft out our pattern first on the pattern paper so i have my pattern paper here already i'll be working with a single pattern paper i'm not going to fold this but when i'm cutting on my fabric i'm going to fold my fabric into two so this point here where, where you're seeing is my center front so the first thing to do is to draw out a starting line at the top of your pattern paper so that line is your shoulder line so from my shoulder now to my hip line is 23 inches so i'll just mark 23 inches there and so the full length of my jacket is 28 inches so note that you can make your jacket any length you want it to be but for this purpose of this tutorial i'll be making a short kimono jacket so i'll add one extra inch to the base for folding so i'll go ahead now and extend the lines horizontally so you can make your jacket any length you want it to be you can make it longer you can make 30 inches 40 inches so right now we have our shoulder line our hip line and the full length of the top which is 28 inches so the next thing i want to do is to mark out our shoulder to shoulder measurement on the shoulder line so my shoulder to shoulder measurement divided by two is eight inches so i'll go ahead and mark eight inches there and then since it's a cut together sleeve i'll mark my sleeve length which is seven inches so you can decide to make your sleeve longer so i'll come down from that sleeve point now by one inch this is for my shoulder slope so for the neckline of this um, jacket i'm making use of three inches for the wideness so i'll connect that three inches point now to meet my shoulder slope the one inch i marked for my shoulder slope this is what we have so for the depth of the neckline this is the back panel we are drafting out i'm making use of 1.5 inches and i'll just form a curve this way so from that point i'll be coming down by my round armhole measurements divided by two which is nine inches and i added extra one inch to it for joining so i'll have 10 inches there so you can decide to make yours 12 inches or wider depending on how free you want the armhole points to be. So I'll come over to this point and just come in by one inch. Come in by one inch from the armhole point and then I'll slant it to meet the upper line. I'll slant it this way. This is just to give it the kimono effect. So we're done with the upper part of the jacket. So I'll come over to my hip line and mark my round hip measurement divided by 4, which is 11.5 inches. I'll add one inch for ease and one inch for seam allowance, making 13.5 inches. So I'll just take my ruler and connect 13.5 inches to meet the full length of my jacket this way. And then I'll also extend the line upwards this way to meet my um, sleeve point. So I'll just go ahead and match the two points together just the way you see me doing in the video so before i cut it out i'll form a curve at the at this point i'll just curve it out slightly so that when i sew it it won't come out rough i'll just slant it this way so this is basically all for the back part of our kimono jacket so i'll go ahead now and cut this out so before we cut it out i'll come over to the side of my jacket and just come up by three inches so I'll take my curved ruler and just form a curve to meet the full length of my jacket. So this is optional. You can decide to leave your jacket straight down or you just curve it out. 
So right now, I'll go ahead and cut the pattern out. So before I modify the pattern to cut out my front panels, I'm going to use it to cut my back panel first. So I have folded my fabric into two, as you can see. So this is the center of my fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and place the center front on the part I folded this way. And then I'll just use my pins to secure it before I cut it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out this way. So I'll just trace it just the way you see me doing in the video. So this is what we have after cutting out our back panel. I'll just go ahead and open it up. So this is what it looks like. This is what the back panel looks like. So I'll set this aside now. I will modify the pattern to cut out our front panels so i'll come to the lower part of my pattern paper and just take two inches this way from the center front i'll just go ahead and mark two inches all the way down then i'll use my ruler now and connect the points together so i'll come over to the upper part and just slant my line to meet the width the neck width because we have to maintain the same neck width for the front and the back panel so right now i'll just go ahead and cut this part out of my pattern so i'll just cut this part out so next thing to do is to use this pattern paper to cut on my fabric so i have placed my pattern paper on my fabric i folded my fabric into two just like we did for the back part and this is the center front i also secured my pattern paper with my pin so the next thing to do is to cut it out. So I'll just go ahead and cut it out this way. Remember we'll be having two pieces for the front panel. So I'll just go ahead and rip the center front open this way. So after cutting out, this is what we have. We have two pieces of the front panel. So the next thing to do is to join the front and the back panels together. So I have my back panel here already. So I'll go ahead and place my front panels on it. So notice that the fabric does not have a wrong or a right side. So I'm just going to place it this way. So if you're working with a fabric that has the wrong side, place the right sides facing each other. So I'll go ahead and stitch it using half an inch on the shoulder point and I'll stitch the other side. And when I'm done doing that, I'll show you guys the next thing. So after closing the shoulders, this is what it looks like. So before we go ahead to close up the sides, I'm going to show you guys how to attach your turnover to the sleeve. So I have my fabric cut out already. So I folded it into two. So I'll go ahead and place it on the wrong side. It's in a fold of two and it's about one, two inches wide. So I'm using half inch for stitching. So I'll go ahead and place it on the wrong side of my jacket this way. And then I'll stitch it all the way down using half inch. So when, by the time I turn it over, I'll have something that looks like this on the sleeve part. So make sure the opened angle is... On the wrong side of your of your jacket and stitch it down i'll do the same thing for the other sleeve and show you guys what it looks like so after attaching our turnover to the sleeve this is what we have so i also went ahead to top stitch on the wrong side of my sleeve to make turning over easy so that by the time i turn it over it will come out very neat i'll go ahead to iron it as well so this is what it will look like on the jacket on the sleeve of the jacket so I also did the same thing for the other side of my sleeve. I top stitched on the wrong side. So I'll have something like this when I um join I join it together. So the next thing now is to join it together. So I'm going to go ahead and place the right sides facing each other. But make sure you you turn your sleeve inside this way. Turn it to the right side this way. Remember, we want our sleeve to be on the right side, not on the wrong side. So turn it inside this way before you join the sides together. 
so you can use your pins to secure it so that it would um come out neatly so just go ahead now and stitch it all the way down using my one inch seam allowance i'll join the two sides together and i'll do the same thing for the other side i'll make sure i um flip my um turnover inside to the right side before i um stitch it down and then i'll stitch it all the way down okay so before i do that i'll go ahead to um fold up the base of my jacket i'll fold the back part and i'll fold the the um, front part i'll fold it by half an inch once and half an inch again and stitch it down so when i'm done doing all that i'll show you guys what it looks like so after joining the sides together this is what it looks like you can see our turnover sleeve coming out so beautiful already this is the other side so the next thing we want to do is to attach our collar strap to the front part of this jacket so to get the length of fabric you'll be needing for this go ahead to use your tape pro and measure all around the open part of your jacket measure the back neckline as well just as you see me doing in the video so go ahead to measure it all the way down whatever you have on the open part of your jacket so for me i have um 65 inches um in length so i'll go ahead now and cut out a fabric of so i have this fabric i have cut out already it's in a fold i folded it into two so the fabric is um, about 67 inches long i just added two extra inch for allowance and the fabric is 2.5 inches wide half inch for the joining um allowance so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to fold this fabric into two equal parts this way I fold it into two this way to get the center part and i will notch it on the open angle i'll notch it this way then on my jacket as well i'll go ahead and look for the center point of my um, neckline at the back i'll just fold it this way and notch the the center point so right now i'm going to place the notched parts facing each other so just watch how i'm going to do this i'm placing on the right sides facing each other and matching the notched points together and then i'm going to use my pin to just secure that center point together so when you want to start sewing make sure you start sewing from the center points so i'll stitch it from the center point all the way down on one side using half an inch to join it i'll just go ahead and stitch it all the way down so by the time i join it it's going to come out that way so i'll come to the other side and then making sure my right sides are facing each other and i'll stitch it all the way down as well so when i'm done doing that i'll show you so guys. after attaching our collar straps to the jacket this is what it looks like you can see how beautiful it looks already so you can decide to leave your own jackets this way if you want like you could just wear it as it is but for me i'll be having um drawstrings at the side of my jacket so i'll just go ahead and show you guys how to do that so go over to the sides where you joined your jacket together so i'll just open it up this way so my one inch seam allowance i'll go ahead and use my iron to just open it up this way on the side i'll iron it down then i'll take it to my sewing machine and then i'll stitch it from the base all the way to where i want it to stop and i'll stitch the other side down as well so when i'm done doing that i would go to the other side open up the seam allowance with my iron I'll iron it down and stitch it on both sides to the point where I want my um, drawstring to stop. So I also cut out fabric straps that will be passing through it. So when I'm done doing that, I will show you guys the next. So after stitching it down, this is it. So I stopped on uh, stopped at a particular point, like half of my shirt length. So I stopped stitching at that point. So I went ahead to cut out fabric straps as well, and I folded it in this i have four pieces of this so i'll use my um my pin now and show you guys how to so i'll go it. ahead to the open part here there's an open space there so i'll just go ahead and pass my pin through that space this way with my fabric strap on it and then i'll keep pulling it until i get to the base of my jacket so i've passed in the first strap so i use my pin to secure it at that point so that it won't run into it so I'll remove my pin now and show you guys how to attach the second strap. So attach it to your pin this way. And then just pass it through the space that you have at that point.
I'll just pull it gently into it this way. So what I'm going to do now is to stitch it down at that um, point. So I'll take it to my sewing machine and stitch it down at that point so that the fabric will be firm there. So I'll repeat the same thing for the other side of my jacket. I'll repeat the same thing there. And when I'm done with it, I'll show you guys the finished product. So guys, after attaching the drawstring to the top, this is what it looks like. So I stitched it down just like I said earlier. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys how to reach it. You just pull it up this way and then you knot it at the base you just tie it at the base so this is what it looks like when you reach the side of your jacket so this is it on the other side as well so you guys can see how beautiful it looks and how simple it is to make so guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to my channel share with your loved ones and you can also follow me on instagram and share pictures with me when you recreate this um jacket at so with mediva so you can wear it as a rich jacket or you can wear it without rushing it either which is going to come out nice so i'll see you guys in my next video bye